You can see there's built-in storage throughout the whole space for storing all of your belongings, especially if you're living in the home uh, full time. But this can be converted to however you see fit, uh, like I said, as a second bedroom or as an art space or even as a second living room. It really has a lot of flexibility in how it can be used. And as you walk in this way, you'll see this is your um, master bedroom. It's a queen size bed, uh, lots of storage again, open windows. You get a great view from up here, especially when you're out in a remote area. And uh, this bed even has storage underneath it. And so you can see here. And uh, we have a lot of uh, new innovations in mind, ways to make the spaces even more private. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, uh, we'll have divider options so that these two spaces can kind of be separated from one another. Um, we'll have a divider over the staircase as well. And private spaces is something you don't typically find in tiny houses. Uh, usually they're one big open space. So this is a great way to, um, if you're a family or even as a couple, to have your own uh, space even when you're living in such a tight quarters. Um, and what's really cool, like I mentioned about this, this tiny house, is that it does have a lifting roof mechanism. So uh, this here is an electric actuator. And uh, on the sides, you'll see some gas springs. And it's our proprietary system. All of these components work together to lift the roof when you're parked and lower the roof when towing. So that means you get double the square footage with half the footprint. And um, what we do to make that happen is all of these gray cabinets, you'll see that they move out of the way. All of them get moved into the center of the room. And then these white cabinets, which are attached to the ceiling, come all the way down to the ground and that makes it safe for towing without the need for any special permits. And so it's a really unique, you know, fully engineered design. Uh, we wanted to create a solution for people who wanted to live small, wanted to have the ability to travel uh, and really to maximize the land space that they're using.